Howdy everybody, welcome back to Random Things. I am James, and today we're talking about a toy I have seen around on the shelves, and have finally seen a little bit about on YouTube and decided I'm going to check out for myself. Um, VTech. Um, I think they make like phones and other like technical like tech gadgets and stuff. Um, I've seen the brand around forever. I mostly know them because I've always seen them make cool kind of kids toys. Like, not baby, but like I think four to eight year olds kind of like kids first tech type toys. Like little kitty computers can do basically nothing and cool little tech toys for kids. And I've seen on the shelves for a little while now, they have sort of like transformers where they're like cars and stuff transform into animals. I thought they were pretty cool, but I thought, eh, they were just baby toys, why not? And then I actually saw some stuff on YouTube. Um, there's actually a YouTuber, I think his name is Dumb Jake. They were Unusual Transformers videos. And um, I saw them popped up and got to see them a little bit in action. I thought, these are actually kind of cool. And so I was actually today with the wife and I were at a local flea market. And... I would have found some for like really, really, really cheap. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I do a review on them? And so that's who we are today. Um, they are like mech dinosaurs and stuff, which fits right in for this channel. And I heard these right here are actually more akin to like model kits, like Gunpla and the sword. And I thought, hey, let's get this and put this on the channel. Because um, I think it's pretty cool. And while it was <laughs> local Walmart, this big bad boy that is a combiner. I thought that's pretty cool. Um, and this actually happened to be on clearance from like 30 bucks to I think like 10. I thought, you know, why not? I got to build one, got two classic ones, um, and I want to can build. So let's, you know, let's get to it. Um, I'll kind of open now. I will put this one together um, on camera and then I'll probably open you know this one off camera and then tell you what I think about it. But first let's kind of get to these a quick explanation and some pictures of the ones I have found online. Now the line is called um, Switch and Go. I think I've seen Switch and Go dinos. Um, I think it's more than dinos because I've seen there's like a fire truck. I think it's a fire truck turned into a wolf. I think a cop car turned into a wolf. There's a gorilla. And most of them are seem to be dinosaurs, like theropod types. And some trikes and stuff. Like this one's a trike. Now, I want to say these these vehicle modes, alt modes, look really cool. They're not just turning into real life cars. They're not even trying. They are pretty sick looking cars. I think just by alone, I think kids would love these. I think they look cool as adult. It's really hard to tell, but there's a lot of like greebling. There's like fake bolts here. They come, they come with a lot of stickers, which is not bad. These are actually pretty good stickers. Like I got these like at a um, basically the yard sale part back at our flea market, and you know these are by the pest of time. Now this one you can currently get. This one right here, this Jeep one is um, just the camera a little bit. I think a retired one. Um. Because I didn't see the packaging from the pictures I found online are a lot different. Um, you see it's kind of, it's not, I think it's like a Jeep type thing. Now, these do transform and I think it's cool is that I personally don't like the kids transformer. You push a button and they pop. These are actually still pretty simple and still look cool. And I think that's what's amazing about them. Like I think I think one of these, the trike or that has like, it's like seven steps. And you know, it's cool. And these also have, if you guys can hear it. Don't you. Uh oh. Well, this one does work in lights and sound. Um, I think most of them have, they like, light up and they talk because these are characters. Like this one's name's Tor. They actually talk. And. Um, now, I don't know how and where it is, but some of the mechanism, when this is transformed between their alt modes, the toy will actually know. So, like, while it's in car mode, it'll make, like, car sounds and, and talk about rolling. And when you switch from dinosaur mode, it will talk about being a dinosaur. So, here, let me transform it. Pretty easy. Let's one, two, back, 
comes back, wheels pop. Here's the feet. This flips back is a tail. These pop down like that, and now it's in Therathenosaur mode. And it actually looks pretty cool. I mean, this is this looks like a Zoid, and that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Maybe I can get to talk again. This guy was really talkative earlier, let me tell you. Um, and it's cool. It's actually, and they're pretty stable too. Like they look weird, but they are actually balanced pretty, pretty, pretty okay um, so far. And uh, they stand on their own, which is pretty cool. I mean, these are kids' toys. Kids have been knocking around a lot, freaking um, knocking them over and stuff. So that's pretty cool. They're balanced. They look cool. And well, here's a trike. This one's actually a lot more simple. Let's see if I can get it thought. See, look. Tuned up and ready to roll. Lights up. The cockpit lights up. And this here in the back, actually, um, I won't be able to show it on camera. It actually protects down like a little flame. So when it's a car mode, it's like backfiring like Batmobile and stuff. And I think when it's in dynasty trike mode, it's doing like um, it's shooting flames. And this one's even simpler to just go back legs pop the feet out these bend down and spin it around now it's in trike mode and it's cool when you do that like this right here it activates it, it actually shoots a little like projected on it a little flame um and i think that's pretty cool um i think a lot of them are just as simple just like this uh, now i know this one in particular here is i think the, the, the cheapest one here is 10 bucks um i think if you're like transformers and you want to get your kids in transformers or your kids like transformers but you don't want to pay out for the more expensive ones um i think this is a pretty cool option i know with a lot of the actual like transformer brands if they have lights sound and they talk they're like up for a premium because that's some kind of special feature but this seems to be pretty standard just lights sounds talking for 10 bucks for a pretty simple transformer that's pretty solid as you know introduction to transformers this is really really cool and personally i think like all the little details on it if you're the the um it's like toy modding and um what i'm looking for customization repainting type stuff i think these would be pretty cool cheap alternatives they look especially um they're all modes and they're like dinosaur modes these could be used as like proxy um zoids and stuff i think it's really cool now I'm going to get set up and I'm going to open up this one. So put some music on and just watch me, you know, take it apart. And here we are. Here is the thing opened up. Take a look on the outside. It's a cool little gold shell egg thing. Got some scratch marks in it. Actually has a sort of try feature. And one thing I will say that I am a little bit cool is that you can actually tell on the outside of the packaging which one you're gonna get. Um, I guess it's kind of cool since it's a kid's so toy, you don't want them doubling up. But so you got three latches right here. You kind of gotta. Yeah. Well, that's really easy to pop off, which is good because this is made for kids. And there are other pieces. And I think this is. How's this? How's this work? Oh, right, easy, right there. Pops right off. Here's the shell. I'm assuming this is going to be the main body. I got what I think is yep, some assembly directions. Oh, I don't sure if this. I think this is just a spacer. Yeah. Got parts. A little bag here. Nope, don't, nope, don't even gotta cut the bag open. That's something I appreciate. Uh, these are all pre-cut pieces. Um, they're pretty smooth. Like I don't see any like tabs. What do they call them? Like like little nibs or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. There are what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pieces. 
That's pretty cool. Steps only 14 steps. That's pretty cool. I think this is the I forgot what it's called. Is this something Raptor? I think it's like the Raptor sports car. Velociraptor Racer. Got a pretty cool striking yellow or orange, whatever it's called. Um, now I'm going to put it together. Um, so now they say dinosaurs. I think this like the whole main thing is dinosaurs. But there actually are other ones. Like here's this cool scorpion one I saw. I haven't seen these in person, but their site has it up. So some of these might be I don't know retired maybe. But there's a I saw a work. There was a gorilla one. They didn't have it in stock. What? Okay. Now, okay, so there's a little bit of some symboly. There's three. There's There's a couple of the other ones I saw up while I tried to figure this out because maybe I'm not as smart. Ooh, that's nice. I thought together really good. That's actually together pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah, that's cool. I don't see any like screws or nothing. That, yeah, I could see that a kid putting that together. This is for kids, so this is like, you know, kiddo's first like Gundam model and this is how it goes There it goes. Let me sure I put it together right. It'd be kind of sad if I get bit beat by the like baby toy. Arms on. Little arms on. The head. Ooh, cool. That's a uh, nice. Uh, there's no stickers in this. I really like that. I hate stickers. And I doubt Kid would have the patience to put a sticker together. So that right there is a bonus in my book. steps pop the jaw on right there Ooh, a little bit of movement the jaw's not on there very nice like stiff though and that is it right there look that is the Raptor's got a little bit of what you call it. Let's see what it's. Let's see what it does. It's got dinosaur mode. I'm on the prowl. <laughs> the talk. And that's off. Now, how do we transform it? Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's just up, up. up and over and there we go now it's in car mode um yeah, it rolls really well it feels let me see when it's in dino mode does it stand pretty well now the jaw i admit is a little bit a little flimsy it, it does a little bit but let's see here yeah, it stands really well. Um, 
pretty simple to follow instructions. No stickers. It makes lights. It makes sound. I think this would be pretty cool to introduce a kid to a um, you know, little bit of model building and get a cool little transformer afterwards. Um, that's a pretty thumbs up to me. Uh, $10? I don't know. I mean, um, I said earlier, a lot of these transformers that can do the lights and sound and talking and stuff cost a lot more than ten dollars so as far as a toy goes like that's 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 a pretty good deal um it comes with batteries i didn't have to put batteries in it so that's pretty cool all in all i think that's pretty cool um just one more to open and that's the big combiner one and let's get to it okay now we're back with the last one that is the spinosaurus and pterodactyl um so far out of the box, these are actually pretty cool looking. I'll start. I'll start with this one. This one I got out first. Um, now, I don't think this one lights up. I haven't found anywhere where it has a battery or nothing, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it has a little bit of movement here. You move the. I mean, technically this is part of the transformation, but you can move the wings. You can move back a little bit. Um, it does actually stand pretty solid. On its own when it's like this which is impressive and these are woo, actual firing missiles um that's actually pretty i think pretty cool um the missiles themselves look pretty cool like a little lightning bolt type things um the head can technically move a little bit so you can pose it a little bit um all in all cool a little disappointed especially since i think the original price for this is th technically 30 this is a bigger deluxe figure it's got the clear plastic for the head, like it's meant to light up. Oh, also the jaw. Jaw moves. This does look eerily similar to an actual Zoid, though, which is kind of funny. Um, I do like how the wheel is part of the wings. It kind of gives it like a, um, like you've seen, you know, like, like sci-fi planes stuff that have like the uh, propellers in the wings, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you move up. Now, this technically moves down like this a little bit more, I guess. You want to like have it swoop or something, but it won't stay standing like this. It needs to be back in this position right here, which it seems to lock into. There's little teeth here. A lot of cool different detail. Um, there's actually like a pattern on the, um, the crest there. Little claws here. Um, pretty cool, I think. So. Its transformation is pretty, pretty simple. You just... It says it's launcher mode. I guess it's kind of like a tank speed up like this wings go all the way in and it goes and now it's a launcher mode i don't have such trouble to like seeing it on camera today and that's it it's actually pretty sizable in the mode it looks pretty cool um there's had it does have some stickers um but the stickers came pre-on never put them on and they feel like they're on pretty good but now on to the main the main boat big bad boy here is the spino. The little ridge doesn't seem very spinal me, but it's got the cool snout. Got the jaw. Jaw, no, jaw doesn't stay too go together. Um, isn't much more posability on this one. Like these move a tiny bit, but I think that's more um, part of the transformation movement. Not really too posable. It does stay standing pretty solid. Um, here we got multiple. Here we go. Settings for sound. And he talks uh, just like the other ones it will recognize when it's in um, vehicle mode or when it is in spinal mode which is pretty cool um, and the spinal transformation to car is actually pretty simple it is just whoop pull these up like that now it's in fucking car mode and um it says it's some kind of race spinal racer car, but this looks more like some kind of like, like the Batmobile, Batmobile from the um, Christian Bale Batman. And of course, just like that, when you switch it over and you put the sound on, this car noises. This lights up. Once again, these are just stickers. It's a little bit of shame because some of the ten dollar ones actually have like fake bolts and stuff on it so that, that's a little disappointing but oh it looks pretty dang cool Come on, let's roll. but the big play feature is this they combine and combining is actually pretty easy they just a little slot right there and you and you hear that so when it, it actually changes what it says 
when it's connected. So it actually does know it's connected and changes what it says when it's connected. So that's cool. The, the, these toys don't just... Aren't just, oh, hey, quick transformers, they say a couple lines. They're programmed to actually know, like, what's going on with them and stuff. And I think it's, I think it's really cool, especially for a toy. Now, is it worth the money? I actually think these are kind of are, like, like, look, look, I gotta use two hands to hold this. This is not a small little toy. Um, uh, and also, like, other than this right here, Nothing really comes off. So these aren't small, going to get swallowed pieces of toys. So this is ideal for younger kids. They're super easy to transform, and it's big. I won't say it's heavy, but it's not light. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, now this one I think was I think it was twenty seven dollars. I think the shelf said, but I got it for eleven. So if you're watching this now and think this is cool, maybe this would be a time to go get it. I don't know maybe your local WalMarts are um, clearancing them because there were a couple of other ones. I think this one maybe if i got a picture i don't know of i think it was a jet was also on sale for like 11 which is kind of crazy um i didn't get it i don't have any kids to put these two these are just going to sit on my shelf i might repaint them i don't know but all in all i think it's pretty these this looks cool this looks cool and i like the i love the colors especially these aren't two of the same colors so they're almost two distinct characters my only real gripe is that the, the um pterodactyl doesn't light up doesn't do any light up or voicing it's got a big cavity like chest cavity in here so it's like they had space to put it in there but they but they didn't but i mean this is a kid's toy it looks cool plays cool i think it's pretty pretty dang cool um it gets a thumbs up for me um i don't know maybe with the price of these bigger ones because someone did get up there i think the most expensive one i saw there was this may have been the most expensive one there was some other, I think there was a $20 one, which was the Gorilla Muscle Car, which I just now get because gorillas are very muscular. Um, I think there was a Raptor Jet. A lot of Raptors and T-Rexes. Um, there was a Pterodactyl Helicopter, which I really wanted to get, but my store didn't carry it. But um, that's going to be it for the review, guys. These guys are actually getting, I, I want to say a good review for me. I good, Two thumbs up, man. Um um, I've always kind of passed these off. I've seen them on the shelves as toys. Um, I think hopefully these will be around. I got a nephew who's only a year old. Um, I got some nieces who are a lot older. I think they're they're way outside this this um, toy range. Hey, um, sis, if you're watching this and your kids do like these, hey, ring me up. They're ooh, that's not supposed to be like that. Maybe they get a thumb and a half up. I don't know. But if you're interested in these, hey, your girls can have them. I'll buy some more for our brother's kids when they're old enough. But I think they're pretty cool. Um, I think I might try to repaint some of them. There is a lot of detail on, some, on the cheaper one. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see me do a video on that. I want to do some more painting videos. But, you know, let me know, guys. Um... If you guys have any of these, I think this has been around for a while since my the tour, the Therathinosaur, wasn't on their website. And the packaging from I saw on eBay was a lot different than the current packaging. So maybe there's past waves I missed. Because when you type it, the Switch and Go Dinosaurs, or Dinos, a lot more comes up than what VTech is showing on their website. So there must be waves. Um, I know I think I might be on the lookout for these in the future when um that's where i'm looking for uh when i hit up the my flea markets and stuff i can't find some maybe grow the collection maybe not a serious collection if they do look cool they'll look cool on my shelf but i am rambling guys um it's been a long day um a little under the weather my eyes a little messed up so thank you so much for being with me here today i hope you enjoyed it it will make this adventure worth it if you did if you didn't Please let me know why you didn't, because I am always looking to improve and always looking to um, criti criti uh, critique and criticism. Um, so, guys, I believe that. I will see you guys later. Um, have a good one. Remember to try something new and random today. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.